I'd like to thank you for watching this five minute pilot episode of Basecamp Television. What we're trying to do is, it's my best guess within the next three or four years, 90% of the hunting content that's on television right now, outdoor television, is going to switch to the internet. And that's simply for a couple reasons. So you're only paying for the niche market and the bandwidth that you're delivering to, which you're currently not doing with television. You're paying for 30 million people when your target audience may be a million of those people. And the other thing we're going to do is television currently, when you sign up with an outdoor celebrity, their main concern is FaceTime. They want to they wanna get their face out there so they can work trade shows, they can get product endorsements, they can do a lot of different things to help them make money because a lot of them don't make money in the television end of it, which is fine. But the real problem with it from the manufacturer's standpoint is if you're just building brand to be associated with those people is great. But a smaller manufacturer to try to send a specific message on why their product is better, why it's different, why people should buy their product, you can't get that on outdoor television. They might give you one spot in 52 weeks to go in depth on your product. What Basecamp Television can do in a web-based format, we can take the same video clip, we can edit, edit it 20 different ways for 20 different manufacturers. We create that storyboard specific to your product that you have to use through your distribution outlets, uh, video outlets, whether it's hunt vids or YouTube or, or your website or blogs, wherever you can get your content to show up, your message is going to show up. So it might be a little confusing, but watch watch the Basecamp television show, the short three to five minute television show every time we do it. We're going to have one product highlighted in the show with relevant information in their storyboard. At the end of the episode, we're going to have seven or eight different individual product spotlights that if it was your product, that one would be in the show to put on your website. You've got the customer there, you, you've done your homework, you've paid your advertising dues, you got the guy interested, now he comes to your website. That's the number one place people go to get more information on your product. That's where your custom story shows up to give that customer one more reason, a call to action, to buy your product. So that's what Basecamp is basically all about. It's an all encompass it's a, it's a many faceted operation, but on the video side, that's where we're yeah. coming from. And we can deliver that content anywhere you need to. And Netflix has proven that you can deliver content to anywhere, any type of cell phone, anything. So that's what we're going to help you do. Yep. It's in clay. It's cheap. It's a pay for performance type of deal. But we'd like you to watch this. We'll give you a call back if you're interested. We'd like to set up meetings at the ATA show to go into a little more detail of the different aspects of the company we can handle and see what happens. But first episode of Basecamp Television starts right now. All right, Brooks Johnson here with this week's installment of Basecamp Television. We're going to be joining Tim O'Connor, little Tim, on a turkey hunt for a big town turkey in southeast Minnesota. This first clip, we got a big strut in town, southeast Minnesota, and those towns are like a, you know, they're like a bully in high school. They're kind of pushing everybody around, kind of mean. But here's your top five list of how to get back to those bullies. Number one, my favorite is when that guy who was pushing around gym class, big strong kid, always a weightlifter, put a little butter on the bar. Yeah, so the other kind of bully is you got that family bully. So it's my Uncle Jack, who was just, you know, picking on me always when I was little, but he used to be a Santa Claus too at Christmas. So one year we got up on the roof with a little hose and a little water. That didn't go so good for him either. So one of my big competitors back in the construction days, he used to outbid me on everything, undercut me, lowball me, but we hacked into his email one time with a little help from a guy I know in Kansas. He uh, he took the wrong building down. It was not, not such a good deal. Boy, I got hundreds of stories of getting people back that used to pick on me, bullies, so to say. And one of the ones I remember the best, we used to vacation every winter down in Florida. And the condo next door that the people rented, they had a lot of money and they used to fly in snow. They'd make their own snow so their kid could make his own snowman. And he thought that was the coolest thing in the world. And we started blowing them up. I had a good, um, not a good competitor, but back in the days we were making the blinds, somebody decided they were going to knock the blinds off. And there's not much you can do in the legal system as a small company, but what you can do is make that hot-headed guy think his wife is cheating on him with the guy next door. And it's amazing what these guys would go through to get back to the guys that are cheating on their wives.
All right, we're gonna have to close out the bully segment of the show. Just remember, write your legislature. There's no need to waste people's time, taxpayer money on bullying legislation when you can take care of yourself. Let's get back to the drinking, huh? Exactly. We get set up yes. right underneath this bird. It's dark. Montana black gold sights is gonna get it done. They're super bright. You can customize them. Pick your pin size, pick your pin colors. However you want it made, you can get it set up custom just for you, just how you like it. That is nice. Some people can't see red, some can't see green. Right. 0 0.012, 0 0.019, different diameters. But um, a lot of different options, but the key is you gotta have that bright pin. You gotta have it to see it in a blind at sunlight or at sunset. You don't want you gotta have a bright pin. So Mon Montana Black Gold gets it done for us. That was our initial installment of Basecamp TV. So I hope you enjoyed it. We, we didn't even finish it. Did you kill that trick? Oh yeah, I did. I did kill a tricky. Check it out. Watch this. <laughs> Holy! That's his what head. the hell did you shoot that thing with? That's his head right there. That's one of those big head cutting diamond guillotines. It is a wonderful head. It flies great. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Diamond guillotine. Just takes them right off with the head. It's pretty sweet. These tip over. I'm fairly lazy. I don't like to track them. Yeah, that's right there. There it is. That's good stuff right there. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. Now we're done with the initial installment of Base Camp Television. Yeah. Stay tuned next week for an episode of Dirty Girls. What? Dirty, dirty, dirty birds. Dirty, dirty birds. Dirty birds.